Hello, everyone. Venture back for another unboxing. However, this time it is not strictly vinyl, though it is vinyl related, vinyl adjacent, because this is a vinyl player. It's a turntable. It's a portable turntable and a portable turntable that I ordered at this point about three years ago. But it's also not something that I ordered in the strictest sense of the word, because this was a Kickstarter project. Now, I'm not unfamiliar with Kickstarters, and I know that sometimes, many times, oftentimes, when one is successful, it ends up going through and taking longer than was expected, because, well, now you actually have to deal with like the volume supply chain issues of having something that you were initially expecting to have, you know, a moderate sort of reception for and interest in to something that blows up and now everyone wants. And so you've got to deal with mass volume on stuff like that. So you know what? I get it. That can be difficult. However, this one had the extra challenge of going through and releasing in the time of these unprecedented times that we live in, which was and having to deal with a global pandemic and how that went through and affected supply chain issues and how everyone was able to go through and, you know, even be in the same damn room together to be able to work on something. So there's a lot of things that went into this causing the delay, but then there was a lot of things that were, you know, in people's controls that could have gone through and been dealt with better so that people weren't left in the dark wondering what the hell was going on with something that they'd paid like 300 euros for plus shipping wondering where it's where 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 it is for months on end months turn into years and years turned into like three years because it's been three years that i've been waiting for this but it's finally here and uh i was gonna go through and try and see if i wanted to do like a follow-up video on this because i know most people that are interested in this have probably checked out the tech moan video on it the initial one where he goes through shows off you know how cool this turntable actually is and then as well the issues that are with it now <laughs> i guess in the moving around it's already gone through and spring itself so Okay, that's a thing. So, right off the bat. Um, so, I was backer number 291 on Kickstarter. Um, and I ended up moving last year. In that move, I went through and updated my information. And then they did not go through and actually follow through on my updated information for shipping. So... The turntable was shipped to my old address. I should have had it in hand fall of last year. No, no, excuse me. Yeah, no, no, fall of last year. And uh, they sh sent it to the wrong place. And then it got sent back. Um, I'm pointing that out because they said that they were going to resend the turntable out to me. But I'm looking at this. And I had ordered the Jakarta edition because I wanted the all black body on the turntable. And as you can clearly tell, this is not the Jakarta edition. It's not even the all black version that they sell through the website now. This is just the regular one. So right off the bat, not really too happy about that. But I guess at least I have the turntable now. So that's something. Um, it was the Kickstarter, so with that, it did come with music for Portable, which was, uh, an exclusive release that was coming out with this turntable, so I'm happy that that was included along with. Um, same thing with the case that was, uh, to be included with the, uh, Kickstarter tier that I ended up throwing down for. So, yeah, the Kickstarter was considerably cheaper than, you know, going through and getting it on retail, because I believe now it's like four or 450 euros. So, 
get in like a hundred, 150 euro discount on it is not bad. Assuming that, you know, it actually does everything that it's supposed to. And I can see what they were talking about now with trying to get it out of the case. Once you actually have it in the case is uh, a little bit challenging. Ah, come on. Okay, that is actually rather difficult. It's like I gotta invert the thing and then start pressing on the back of the case for the thing to flop out flat on its face. So that's a little bit of a design quirk. Um, the other thing that I wanted to go through and check out with this one, well, because we've already seen that the thing was turned on for whatever reason. So... So it starts playing. Yeah, yeah, all that stuff. Good, good, good. Okay. So this is one of the original models then that has both the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi. I was curious as to what, what version I was going to get, if it was the Wi-Fi capable one or not. Because um, that was supposed to allow for playback and connection to like Sonos type devices and things like that. And I was going to see if I could actually get it to work with my Google home speakers. I don't know if that's even going to be possible, but it was something that I was, you know, hopeful on. Um, but aside from that, I don't know. Um, I don't know if there's any real variations between this one and the newer version that doesn't have Wi-Fi, And if that's really going to go through and affect quality of life or anything like that too much. Uh, but yeah, as I was pointed out um, as well, I did want to go through and mention this. Uh, people were worried about this whole, this being a straight arm assembly. And you know how turntables typically have an S-shaped tone arm for, you know, audio fidelity and all of that. Um, while it is a straight armed tone arm, which is typically what you see with like uh, turntablist oriented or targeting equipment because of the skip resistance. Um, this one does actually have, I can get this to move without being too funky. If you can tell there, the tone arm is cocked or excuse me, the cartridge on the tone arm is cocked. So it is aligned in such a way that it is trying to emulate that S shape. So it's not completely going through and, you know, ignoring those kinds of things, but yeah. Um, this is just, I wanted to go through, crack it and take a first impressions at, as to what it actually was after like three years of waiting for this, right? It's like, it's going to have to be pretty damn incredible to go through and live up to the hype. And, uh, I don't know. First impressions out of the box are kind of mixed. I mean, I'm happy that I went through and got a bonus record out of all of this. I'm not, com I'm never going to complain about free music, y'all. Never going to complain about free music. Um, but yeah, this is it. Um, I wish I would have gotten the old black body on model on it, but, uh, whatever. At least I have it in hand and now I can go through and check it out and, uh, see how it performs. And if it does go through and if not live up to the hype, at least live up to my expectations. I was really just hoping for something nice, portable and good quality for me to be able to go through and take on digging trips and like traveling and whatnot. Cause I always like to go through and hit up record stores when I'm in, in a different city. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I got for now. Um, not going to be able to go through and dig into the weeds on this one to really check out crazy feature sets or anything like that. If you guys, I mean, and I mean, a lot of the stuff for the quality issues and whatnot, that was already covered by someone with, uh, well, better production values than I have for doing this kind of stuff. So, I mean, if you guys want updates on this, just hit me up in the comments um, and I'll go through and respond to you there as to, you know, how I'm enjoying it, what I think of it after the fact and all that stuff once I've actually gotten my hands on it and used it for a bit. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for this one. So, uh, yeah. I hope you all enjoyed. So uh, until next time, take care, stay safe, and I've been Venture.
Peace.